Hello viewers, thank you for joining us for another episode of Kiwanjani. We're back with season 2. We brought to you courtesy of Helabet. You can join uh, sign and play on helabet.co.ke. I'm joined by the usual gentlemen, uh, two former Kenyan internationals, Innocent Mutiso and James Stuma. It's been a long break. How has it been for you, gentlemen? <laughs> Well, uh, it's been uh, good and bad. Yes. Uh, my my daughter uh, came to the world. Congratulations, Thank you, you are dad much. now. <laughs> I think you should tell the viewers the name of your daughter <laughs> and uh, the, where, where it was in It's called from. Lanesra <laughs> or Lola Mutiso. What, what does the name mean? Ah, that's why we want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting name, and you should find out. Now, that's the good part. The bad part is that uh, the country is on a lockdown. There's no sporting activities. There's no football going on in Kenya, and it's really depressing. And uh, that's just the downside of what has been happening in the long break. Uh huh. Struma, how has it been for you? Yeah. It's and it's how are the players uh, doing? Yeah, of course, the same situation. Uh, when uh, the last time we, we went out, I, I think uh, we still have the same situation. We are not uh, having our football activities back, but we're still hoping like it can't, uh, like uh, it has to come back because uh, you know we live football, we drink football, and we eat football. Uh huh. Let's start uh, with Arsenal, <laughs> Villarreal. Milkwan <laughs> 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 Mambiwa, eh? don't carry all your eggs in one basket. And uh, some team carried all their European hopes in one basket <laughs> and they discovered the dens of doing that. How was that game for you? Two one. It was a disappointing game, but uh, I think Arsenal got away with one uh, because that one crucial away goal can come back to haunt uh, Villarreal yeah. the second leg. And I think uh, Mikel Arteta has, uh, I don't know what he was thinking uh, uh, yesterday at night, and uh, I think he has learned from his mistakes, and maybe he will try and rectify it, uh, because right now he's getting a lot of backlash from Arsenal fans, and uh, uh, all the many people who had hopes with Arsenal, and um, I, I don't know what he was thinking playing a false nine. He has never done that with Arsenal, and this is the magnitude of this game is not warrant to start uh, doing uh, experiments, putting um, uh, Pepe, and we all know that he struggles the whole of this season ever since he was signed at Arsenal as a lone striker, that did, uh, did not just go well. Maybe he was looking at uh, the way his mentor uh, did uh, against PSG uh, mm -hmm. in France, <laughs> and it backfired on him in a, in, a, in a big deal. But I hope he has learned from his mistakes. I don't know why he did play as a striker, a well-known striker. If Aubameyang was fit enough to be on the bench, then he was fit enough to start the match. So he should have started. Or just put his faith on Gabriel Martinelli. Or at but least give him more time, not a few minutes ex ex into the exactly, end of the game. Not a, not a few minutes. But then again, uh, you could see the red card, which uh, maybe it uh, scrambled the whole organization of Arsenal. And uh, also, Dani Sebalos not, not having a very good game. And uh, you, you can see in the first half, we did not have a single shot on goal. Mm -hmm. So it was a really disappointing show from Arsenal, and it showed, uh, it summarized the whole Arsenal season. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, a roller coaster of performances, and uh, I, something, got, uh, something has got to give. And Mikel Ateta needs to save his job because if he doesn't beat Villarreal and qualify for the finals, then I think uh, it's catches for him at Arsenal. Uh -huh. James Estuma, how was that game for you? And are there hopes for Arsenal playing? Yeah, of, co of course we have. Uh, Arsenal has uh, still uh, hopes because that away <laughs> goal uh, it it counts a lot uh, coming to the second leg because uh -huh. it means Arsenal just needs one goal. Uh, if it keeps it maybe one zero, then we are uh, they are they are through. But uh, I can say they, they 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 really had a very poor first half, and you can say maybe um, Arteta coming up with the with maybe not a good lineup. I can say a lineup that maybe can uh, that that can come out and maybe win you games because remember he had okay he had quality on the pitch but again you know these are young players and playing them without a striker i think uh, i haven't seen arsenal playing without um having a false nine because we had uh, smith roy as a false nine and uh, i i believe him maybe behind the strikers he'll give you more edge more value in the field than playing maybe like a false nine but again also i think uh, from their last game against leeds he played a shaka on the left and then he did the same uh, against real real and remember these are 
two teams with different qualities and for me I believe uh, he could have maybe with, with the absence of, uh, of Keran I think he could have just maybe um, done uh, maybe a um, player uh, even Hector Pellerin on the on the left side or and, Gabriel or, Gab yeah, or even a, a natural defender, a natural defender. Natural exactly defender. exactly mm -hmm. and maybe like okay give him less option going forward make him to defend more because we are playing away games and maybe play Shaka in the midfield but again I think uh, also a uh, loss of uh, Danny through a red card it was um, it, it was a distraction for the for, for the team but again in some in some way it gave them energy and they really tried to play as a team more um, Actually, more Arsenal played better, better with, 10 uh, with 10 men and uh, mm -hmm. they pushed for that one goal and I think it's a massive goal uh, going to the second leg Another game, a very fantastic game. Manchester United, six. <laughs> Roma, two. Hmm? That's how you win Europa League. <laughs> how was that game for you, though? It was a good game for Manchester United, and uh, kudos to the team, kudos to Solskjaer. Uh, I think uh, he, uh, he showed a statement of intent in that dropping, six, two goals. And, uh, and I think uh, uh, the tie is done and dusted. Uh, because uh, the second leg will only be a formality. I don't, I don't see Roma uh, putting four goals past, past United because well, we've seen United uh, away from home. Mm -hmm. They've been a really tough nut to crack. So I think uh, Coach Olegunya Solsha, he just went all out of this match because he wanted to finish the first leg uh, and uh, uh, with the second leg being a formality. And he had his eyes set on the match against Liverpool. And I mm -hmm. think uh, right now he'll be, he'll be free to to uh, to put out his charges the way he wants a very strong lineup not looking at the second leg uh, versus Roma because I don't think Roma can come back from uh, uh, four goals down so um, uh, it, it means that uh, Coach Ole Solskjaer I think for me this season he's had a successful season qualifying for the Champions League uh, by uh, I, I I don't think Leicester City will. Um, Will uh, will go any anywhere near them, even if they win tonight against uh, Southampton. Yes. yes. Uh, but uh, kudos to Manchester United. This season has been a very successful, and maybe um, winning the Europa League will be, will be just the icing on the cake. Yes, that's how you carry your if eggs. Arsenal doesn't make to the final. <laughs> that's how you carry. <laughs> that's how you carry your eggs. Just give them more. Give them more baskets. Even when I'm about my eye, I'm going to basket more than you know. Two baskets. <laughs> For me, no, no, kwamba, I think Manchester United had, uh, had a, a flying start in the first 10 minutes and you could, uh, I will I'll say congratulations to, to the team and also the, you could see the combination between uh, Paul Edson and also Bruno Fernandes for the first goal. It was mm -hmm. fantastic, you know. Yes. That's the combination, you know, maybe they have really done something in the game and as a, as a coach, you can bench, you can smile because you can see But again, I think uh, Roma came back to the game while they to the game and they were equalized and they were on top. I think the, at the last 25 or I can say 30 minutes belong to Roma. I think they really played so well mm -hmm. while you put um, Manchester defending somehow poor and then come second half I think uh, the pep talk in the during half time really did well for for United because we can get the second half the energy in your come up Nayo the game changer yeah. ilikuwa that penalty yes. I think it changed it changed game sana and mm -hmm. then I say kwamba uh, the player will stand out, I think, Paul Pogba, Ali Cheza Vizuri Sanana, he was the, the man of the match, I can say. Uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> okay, we still we have a debate <laughs> about yeah. <laughs> 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 but again, uh, I think uh, they're almost on the... So, on you're the, fighting 5-2. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they're, they're almost... <laughs> They are almost on the cross line uh, yes. because, uh, as Mtisa said, I don't think if uh, Roma can score four goals past Man United, mm -hmm. Kiangali, I think um, from the league, Wamekua away games, Wamekua so super, so I don't think if they can go past uh, the. No, Kiangali, Champions League, Wangali, Europa, the English teams uh, recently have you know, improved a lot. These finals were not you know, uh, featuring English teams. And uh, we were hoping for an all English Europa League final, but now our friends are. It not can still happen. It can still happen. It can still happen. We'll Europa see. Champions can still happen. Even Champions League. Two, uh, mm -hmm. two, two. In, in, in fact, even, even the Champions League, you can still yes. have uh, two English teams <laughs> yes. uh, coming to the finals. A lot of improvement on the uh, English Premier League, you know. 
in some years gone by, this is not what a scenario you could see. Mm. It shows that the, the dynamics are changing. Yes. And uh, right now uh, we were seeing, uh, in the recent past, we've been seeing German teams and uh, Spanish teams dominating all over Europe. But uh, I think right now the dynamics are changing and uh, English teams are, are coming up. And uh, it would be really good if an English team wins uh, the Champions League and also uh, uh, the uh, the Europa League yes. going into the Euros because it will give them a lot of confidence because you know uh, the, the Euros will be played ac across many cities in the, uh, in, uh, yeah, in Europe in, mm -hmm. in, in Europe and especially so many so many matches will be played in the UK so it would be good uh, if uh, the English do, do, uh, uh, dominate because it's been a long time it's been a long time coming since their national teams uh, uh, in the, in the UK won anything tangible so uh, it's really a good step for the English teams. Alright viewer, remember we brought you cards of Hellabet, uh, you can join play on hellabet.co.ke. Remember you get 100% bonus on your deposit uh, once you sign up for Hellabet. Let's move on to the weekend fixture, a big game, uh, Manchester United takes on Liverpool. Are there hopes for Liverpool uh, for a top four finish? Yeah, they still have a chance uh, to play in the in the top four because they are just six points away from the top four, and uh, you could see the maybe the inconsistency of uh, of uh, West Ham at, uh, at the moment, and uh, you you could feel they still have a chance, you know, and it's it's it's, it's a game that will will have uh, will change the dynamics of the of the team. Remember, they have really struggled uh, from the start of the season, and uh, you could see that they always like. We are, it's not the Liverpool we are used to because mm -hmm. at times, you know, up front they, are, they look so flat and again uh, at the back they have been letting in so goals and you could feel uh, as a coach you could maybe give uh, Klopp a chance because, you know, from the start of the season you don't have your defendable uh, defender, he's out, Van Dijk is out and remember he was a key player uh, last season and uh, the way they played the Premier League, the Championship and also the, the, the Champions League, you know and you could feel if you lose such a character in the team, you, you lose uh, a lot from uh, for for the team, but again, it's a, it's a, it's a game that uh, uh, from the last five meetings, it's a game that have been uh, producing us a little goal. So it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a tight goals. Uh, a few goals. It's it's a tight situation for the for for both teams. But I can say again, you know, uh, for Man United, maybe Ole can gamble with the with, with the team because they look so firmly second. But again, but again, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's not over until it's over. They feel maybe they can still fight. This for, one is uh, over. <laughs> 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 they can still uh, push, 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 pu uh, push. Maybe Man City give them a little bit uh, more pressure uh, at the top. But again, mm -hmm. it's, it's a game that uh, one will want to watch because from their last game, uh, uh, Liverpool, I think they, they they won that game, and uh, you know, it it gives the players um, that confidence, and uh, you you want to finish on a high. Uh, you will give us your predictions after. What do you make of this fixture? It's an interesting match, and uh, it shows uh, two teams that uh, are really fighting for their places. And uh, Liverpool have suffered a lot this season, mm -hmm. and I can uh, attest that to uh, the players being burnt out. They, are, they they played a lot of matches throughout the year. Uh, the, the last three years, they played a lot of matches. You know, the uh, the uh, African Cup. Uh, for the main attackers, that is Sadio Mane and uh, Salah. Uh, Mohamed Salah. Uh, you have uh, uh, they, they are running the Champions League uh, a, a season, two seasons ago. Uh, they are running the in the Premier League last season, and you and you know very well Liverpool don't have a, a big a squad depth, and uh, they mostly rely on their front three at, uh, attacking three, and that is uh, uh, Roberto Firmino, uh, Salah, and Sadio Mane, and they 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 have solely relied on these three people and that is why they got burnt out the whole of this season and uh, it's really, really been difficult for them to come to, to come up from this but uh, all is not lost they still have a chance of qualifying for champions league i mean they're only four points uh, 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 away from uh, from chelsea uh, at 58 points mm -hmm. so if they win they will have a chance to leapfrog um, uh, west ham who are on 55 points because liverpool are 54 points uh, so they have a very huge chance but i don't see them uh, beating beating Manchester United with the form that Manchester United have currently. And uh, in the last seven meetings, you've seen Liverpool winning three times. Uh, and uh, uh, they've, be they've beaten Manchester United hands down. But that is where Liverpool were on form. 
Right now, Liverpool are out of form, and I don't see them uh, taking anything away from Manchester United uh, uh, in, in this particular match. And uh, remember the last in, in the reverse fixture, it was a drab nil-nil draw at okay. Anfield when everyone thought that Liverpool will lose that match. And um, I rem remember early in the year in the FA Cup fourth round. Manchester United beat Liverpool three goals to two. So maybe we could see a repeat of that. And uh, I'm seeing Manchester United making these uh, three points. So Kichwa for Manchester, Kichwa for United. Manchester United. Kichwa. Your, your prediction? Uh, I'll go for Kichwa for Man United or mm -hmm. under 2.5. Your prediction in our home, huh? Hey! 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 Uh, thank you viewers for following. Remember you can join the conversation on our social media platforms, Kiwanjani on Facebook and Kiwanjani254 on Instagram. Uh, before we go to your show bets, let's talk about one subject that you had predicted before. Uh, we went for a break and that is the departure of Mourinho from uh, Tottenham Hotspurs. Muliko uh mwona signs. Not mwona signs. It got to may happen. But then again, Sijui, what... Uh, Tottenham were thinking about because it was only one week to, uh, to their finals of the uh, Carling Cup. Uh, they had a chance to win silverware uh, since uh, uh, the last 13 years. Uh, the last time they won a, a cup, it was also in the Car uh, Carabao Cup. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I don't know what Spurs were thinking. And I saw a meme <laughs> on Twitter it was saying that uh, uh, Mourinho had his set sight on uh, oh, winning the Carabao Cup, and then he got, <laughs> he got fired, and uh, it was because uh, Daniel Levy, uh, the chairman, he mm -hmm. said that, listen man, we don't do that here, we don't win titles here, <laughs> so it was really funny, and uh -huh. uh, uh, also Mourinho, he lost the dressing room, and uh, you, you could see um, uh, the, the players after that, uh, when they won uh, the match against Crystal Palace, uh, they, they were... Uh, they were all over the place and they played a very nice match mm -hmm. and uh, Gareth Bale went uh, on social media and he said right now we can attack so I think uh, th that was some shade being thrown at Jose at, at Mourinho, Mourinho. Mm -hmm. and uh, I, I think the whole uh, dressing room of, of Tottenham they somehow feel relieved because uh, I think Mourinho somehow has a toxic relationship mm -hmm. uh, w uh, with players and I think maybe he does that intentionally you know, Mourinho has made around a hundred million in uh, departures in all the teams he, uh, he has been with, and it comes in the third year. Yes. Every other time in the third season, that is when he gets fired. I don't know if he does that, that intentionally to get some uh, some money. The jury is still out. He got a very nice squad, I must say, from uh, Pochettino, and now he, you know they're nowhere to be seen. Yeah, he, he had a very fantastic team, uh, uh, quality players in that team. But mm -hmm. again, you know, as a manager, you come in, but you want to you want the players to play the way you want to play. Remember, these are two coaches that they played they played different to, uh, kind of football. So mm -hmm. uh, for him, it was coming, and uh, you know, for the teams that he have managed previously, whenever he whenever he starts to to fight with the players, he has the difference with the players at the time he's leaving now, you know, and uh, I think uh, Tottenham management uh, saw that, okay, that's, that was the right time Mourinho to go because we have been losing with you, so we, if, even if Carabao is coming up, mm -hmm. so we don't we don't need you, you know, and I remember, I, I think, uh, he, as Mutisa said, he lost the dressing room because 99% were not, players were not with Mourinho, remember the other day when he left, he's only his captain, uh, Harry Kane, who who did like I can say uh, appear yes. <laughs> to say okay we wish you well coach and uh, I, I, I feel uh, you know the players were really prospered uh, yes uh, uh, under uh, under Jose mm -hmm. Mourinho so I think uh, you know the that relationship really played a big role for Mourinho to to go away. Let's go to show bets and we start with Motiso. You yeah, started, started well off uh, with Lille versus Nice mm -hmm. uh, the uh, league league one. Uh, I mean it will go down to the wire mm -hmm. and uh, only three points. Uh, uh, actually, five, four points separate the top four teams uh, because uh, and uh, and also Marseille are coming in with a, uh, with a shout, but they're far off um, uh, Kiasi. But um, uh, Monaco, PSG, uh, uh, Lille, and Lyon all have a shout of winning uh, the League One. But Lille are being very relentless because the matches that you think that they will lose, especially the one against uh, PSG, they beat them hands down. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I fancy them winning against Anis. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, Kicho for Lille. Uh, the second one was uh, Hellas Verona versus Spezia. Uh, both teams have had a top six this season, but uh, the uh, the common thing uh, be between them has been goals galore. So uh, I give them a, a over two point five and uh, also goal goal for the uh, for, for, for that match. AC Milan. AC Milan versus Benevento. AC Milan uh, really lost out. Uh, they really lost the opportunity to clinch uh, the Serie A title mm -hmm. uh, uh, since uh, the last decade, and it uh, was ningu musana for them to redeem themselves. And this is the season that we all knew that it is their season because there's a time they they were. 10 points ahead of everyone else, mm. their closest co co competitor. Mm. And right now, uh, Inter Milan are, are looking to uh, run away with the league with four, four matches to go. And Nimopati uh, Akicho, because the race for the Champions League is also tight. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Atalanta is there, Juventus is there, uh, Lazio is also coming in with a shout. And also, AC Roma, you cannot uh, leave them out. So, Kicho for AC Milan. Other uh -huh. match, it was Chelsea versus Fulham. Uh, Fulham right now they are really fighting for their survival and uh, they've been really playing very good football but don't but the results have not been incoming and we know both teams right now they are really struggling with a lot of goals and uh, also playing very defensively so I gave it an under 1.5 first half. First half. Those are 5.56 odds. Ukiwekele mm -hmm. are 1500. Hapo na pata tau nane. Pesa mzuri sana hii weekend. Yo mwezi yaisha. Uwe alifarentu. 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 Uwe where do you see uh, investors losing money in this uh, show bet? You also don't have hope in my management. Uh, you also don't have hope in my management. I don't have hope in my management. I I don't I Na saizi wamekuja wako two points behind the TM Wana chitha na wasasuna no kiangalia the moment Jana shock against uh, Barcelona, Barcelona against Granada, Granada. Mm -hmm. I, I think this is the time uh, wanachukua yopo Chinsu nilipatia Real Madrid mm -hmm. Hava uh, HA against uh, ATM uh, mm -hmm. Pia wakiangalia Jana na dani Simeone Jana alipiga kawai Nata bifache the game <laughs> Yo loss to seal Real na ATM I think wame feel uh, Somehow wame breathe mm -hmm. uh, Yo lose ya Granada wakishinda Barcelona At no camp I think imekuwa kila mtu wame Ifurayo nyo wako, wako juko suki angalia pia Sevilla mm -hmm. Wako into the mix wako 71 Pia wako to just uh, 3 points uh, 2 points behind um, uh, Atletico Madrid and then Everton and Aston Villa Everton Aston Villa ukiangalia Everton wamekua on and off uh, Ukiangalia their last um, Kuna the, the, the time There was a time between uh, March 8 up mbaka April 16 Hapo unangalia walikuwa Walienda 5 games without a win While struggle sana Wanacheza pia mm -hmm. against uh, a team that PM kwa on and off. Mm -hmm. So ni game ambayo nilipe um, over 1.5. It's much possible. And then Newcastle uh, Arsenal. Newcastle. Hapa ndo mimi naona unapoteza pesa. Nimeweka nini hapo? Umeweka kichwa Arsenal. Of course. Uh -huh. And then it's Newcastle ukiangalia okay, Newcastle uh, their last four games ukiangalia mm -hmm. wameshinda two, wame draw two. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia wameza wanajaribu kutoka pale relegation wako somehow a couple of points against uh, above relegation uh, zone. Mm -hmm. So wanajaribu against Arsenal na napil kwamba ukiangalia the head to head Arsenal have a uh, Better record against Newcastle, so I went for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Investors on a potato for some of the coy, sure bet. Eh. Your bet, mm -hmm. you can odds 50 mm -hmm. 7.4. Yes, you can let 1500 up with you, 10,000, 11,000 up with you. Cash up, cash up, cash up. Yeah, that is a sir. Your bet is uh, it's paid on arrival. <laughs> <laughs> So they should not try this. But in the way, yeah. in, in, on which in, team? On which team? Uh, it's a game. Uh, Mbili za kwanza. Real Madrid uh, Osasuna. ATM na Osasuna. Mm -hmm. uh, Real Madrid itakula. Uh -huh. You know itakula. They have to take advantage mm -hmm. uh, of uh, him. Michi and Nini. They have to take advantage of uh, slip up. Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. Mm. Well, well, at least we are going to gain advantage. You know, we gave me a center big last weekend. People we only drop points, so they cannot afford to drop points against Osasuna. Mm -hmm. But then again, people they have their sights on uh, Champions, Champions League versus Chelsea. Now, your game, your game, uh, your first leg, they really had a very bad game. Mm -hmm. And uh, he game, they will look to. 
to rest maybe some of their uh, key, uh, players. Uh, uh -huh. key players and maybe put on the French players. Now, how not could prove you uh, your game that we deserve to, uh, to start? So, your game is more cooler. I think uh, Atletico Madrid is no, no? over 2.5 because Atletico Madrid nowadays see less Simeon to what uh, uh, to Namoleo before when you are a lock up game and you are going to pick a 1 nil game in Aisha uh -huh. 2 nil game in Aisha 3 game in Aisha Nowadays, man, say, my game is like a goal goal over 2.5. Uh -huh. game like Jute, no, over 2.5. Kwebo like, unasema game, game in a... Iso game bilis kista ingia. Ata iso nezazi ongeza kwa multi-beti yangu. Yes. Kwa moja nelea Manchester King Show. <laughs> Sasa wama likula tashuishi ni hapo kwa Everton versus... Um, versus... Um, Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Mm -hmm. Ita kwa ngumu sana... Over 1.5. Sioni kienda over 1.5 because... Um, uh, Everton amekuwa very poor at home this season mm -hmm. and hawajakuwa uh, kipunga mabao. Wamekuwa tu kama Liverpool at home. Hawajakuwa kipiga mabao mengi sana. And also um, Aston Villa, remember they don't have their talisman in um, in Jack Grealish. Mm -hmm. So goals have been really hard hard to come by unless dio like, like, last match ilisha uh, uh, versus West Brom ilisha 2-2 but they had to dig in um, uh, and uh, also sloppy mistakes from uh, from uh, from West Brom they were kuje could draw you game because they had to, ca uh, to come back from uh, two one goals down. So he ni mechi siyo a lot of goals. So the best bet is either X two for uh, uh, for Aston Villa to win or draw uh -huh. or under two point five. Hiyo mechi ingine Newcastle, Newcastle versus Arsenal. Uh -huh. And diyo tukona record mzuri sana versus Newcastle. But this season tumona records mingi sana za Arsenal zinukua zikibunjika. Uh -huh. Like Everton winning at the Emirates for 30 years. That's very true. Cool. That's very true. Cool. <laughs> so, si, si when they call it in Gumu sana, uh -huh. uh, uh, Arsenal kushinda versus Newcastle. And right now, kiangalia Newcastle wameza kugain momentum. Kusa ime kuwa ngumu sana kuwafunga. Na pia wameza kushinda magame kwa sababu um, before when they were struggling, they did not nani kitu nimeongelelea pia before hapa kwa 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 hizi episode nilikuwa nasema uh Callum Wilson uh, Miguel Almiron and uh Alexis Maximi kama hawa kwa team mm. Newcastle like like they are down out how do watu wame kwa kibeba team hivi kwa mgongo na sasa hizi wote watatu wamerudi itakuwa ni ngumu sana kwa Arsenal kutoka kwa hiyo game uh, kushinda the best Arsenal can do is draw that match because uh, Najwa Mikel tell us matter at rest some of the key players because right now qualifying for top 4 it's a kwa ngumu sana so he game labda niweke goal goal but sioni sioni Arsenal kiweke wa kicho thank you very much uh, investor that's where we end the episode there today till next time same place different games my name is Esbon Mogambi and remember the conversation continues on our social media platforms till next time it's goodbye for now <laughs>